Well, it is time for the message for all ages. So I want to invite my young and my young at heart to sit on the blanket and friends at home, scoot a little closer to the screen. Oh, we got a lot of kiddos. And you know what else? You were all hopped up on sugar, so I want you to bring the energy, okay? <gasps> Can I tell you something really cool? Today is National Cat Day. I know! I know! And did you know, and if you don't, you will soon, that cats are really good at showing us and communicating to us how they are feeling. So when cats are happy, what do they do? Does anyone know? Um, they um, lick you. They might lick you. They purr. They purr. They go on your lap. They go on your lap. Maybe they show you their belly to rub it. Now when they're angry, what might they do? They will, they will, um, they will hiss at you like, <laughs> they might hiss at you. They will like, Fs. they might scratch you. Okay, and someone new. No? Bite. They might bite you. That's right. I love all these answers though. They, they also might scratch your furniture. That is very true. Anyone who has a cat, you know, you know. Well, friends, but you know something. They're actually not very good at showing us when they're in pain or when they're hurting. In fact, they actively try to hide it. And this is evolution, right? This is them not wanting predators to maybe attack them. But you know something? Humans and cats are really similar in that way. Have any of you, either physically or emotionally, felt like it was hard to say when you were hurting or in pain? Growing up, what about you in the audience? Yeah? Almost all of us, right? It's really hard to tell people when we're in pain and hurting. And friends online, I saw you raise your hands too. Maybe because we're like cats, we're afraid someone might use it against us. Maybe we feel like we have to be brave all the time. Maybe we see everyone else stressed out around us and we're afraid that by asking for help, we're adding to that stress. And so what we might do, instead of asking for help, we might pretend to be happy. We might smile, we might dance, we might sing, when actually we're really sad inside, right? Or instead, we'll get really angry. Maybe we'll yell. Maybe we'll pick fights. Maybe we'll, I don't know, start wars. <laughs> Any kind of war. You can use your imagination. But friends, I want this to be a safe place where we can unlearn the things that we're seeing. I want us to practice asking for help. So I wonder if you can tell me, what are some ways, what are some things we can say to ask for help? Um, we can ask a trusted adult or friend. You can ask a trusted adult or friend. You, you can say, I'm in pain. You can just say, I'm in pain, I'm hurting. You could like write a letter or a note to somebody that you know. You could write a letter or a note. Ow. You could say ow, exactly, one more. You can say, help, I'm in pain. That's right. You can be emotional, you can cry, you can say, I need support, absolutely. Friends, I want you to remember these, okay? I want you to file them away in your toolkit, friends online, grown-ups, let's be honest, we probably need this message more than they do, right? <laughs> But what is exciting, and I want us to remember, is that cats and humans can learn to communicate differently. Cats can be trained, and we can train ourselves
by practicing asking for help when we are feeling alone. Because to be honest, a lot of other people are probably feeling exactly the way that you are, and we are better together, right? Amen. Let's practice and let's sing Siahama on our way back to our seats. <laughs>